Hello guys, let's do some more a Doki Doki Literature Club. Woo! Yes! So happy, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles. I decide to go visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door, knock knock, before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we're a family. The house is quiet. Sherry isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head over to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hey, Sherry! I sit down in her room. She forces a smile, but it's easier to tell she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over here like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sherry's room is as busy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she had. she's had for years now. Hey! <laughs> If you came over more often, I wouldn't be such a mess. Oh, wow, I missed off a birthday. That's because I ended up cleaning it for you. How can you suddenly want to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see not sick today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Shoya had been already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm helping online. We didn't plan on me over anything. Ah, so this is me and then. Well, that's, that's interesting. Yep. There's more silence between us. Show you stairs in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So? Sherry smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, shy boy. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? Whoops. Not like it's always been. This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't be worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is sad. That's my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, uh, Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Sayori. But you ran. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Sayori? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression in my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late for school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and care into ways by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Um, I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is this possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known it? 
Does he really want so badly for me to just not think about it? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little hard bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, shy boy. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to take care to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> Why laugh? That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer to everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my head. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. I repel this to nothing but hate. Ah! You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Sayori. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Shiara's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I want to get crepsy on his shoulders. This time, I pull it into a tight embrace. Eh! Say me! Sayari, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If, it m if I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Sabay! Sherry isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sherry's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No! Don't do this to me! Please don't do this! Sabay! I. Sherry barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you wanted to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Eh? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Shinji Sherry finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It sounds really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, so I bet. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your eyes are so warm. And that's really scary too. Shari lets me go. As she does so, I let her arms go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. I, br I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sherry wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really would forgive you. But it's almost time for Ashok to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, she always shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if it would be good for me, very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I said goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. 
On the way home, I found myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we are definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spent only a few minutes back at my home, anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she takes me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door and let her in. Hey! Sup! Hey! <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes made the uniform seem unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make me feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so it's weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside the school. So don't be weird. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Suki is carrying a large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Gee! Glad I could count on you to do your pet. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. But it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go through the kitchen. What? You're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag for me? What's your hospitality, Saipe? Come on! Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. <laughs> this is ridiculously heavy! <laughs> I carried it other way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's just the small, isn't it? You jerk. <laughs> Azuki hears a fist into my chest. Ow! Hey, hey! Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I'm like putting people wrong when they think I am uh, 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 They only think I'm with my size. It's fun when I get small enough so it doesn't other people. But. Jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't you make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> yes. What? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey, hey, hey. No, you're treating me like a little like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have any material and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like. Eh! Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki? Forget it! <laughs> I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also. If that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are a lot of guys who are into body types like yours. Eh, how would you, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me in this one. <laughs> Apparently, I'm into lollies. It's just nice to know. Eh, Krebs. Hey, was was that to me? Who else? Man, this is gonna start already. <laughs> You get all sour when you go because you're crazy. I finally found your weakness, Sebe. Oh no, not my weakness. No, being called gross. Ah, no. Natsuki smiles seriously. Please spare me. When Natsuki decides to dish out monsters like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. I finally started to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowels. Floor, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn, strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we have had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Nasuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Sebe, 
Where did you put the food coloring? Better it's going to the oven soon, so I need to fill the trash. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the better, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That's why even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're you asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come in! You're not putting any yard into this at all. Can you just try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I'll here separate the batter into smaller parts and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See, it's not like I'm being just about filling instructions. The presentation is where you get too creative and have the most fun. As many times more with it, then in the end of just looking at it, making everyone else a nap. Like the ones you made my first day, huh? Oh, no, 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 the ones you made my first day, huh? Uh, that was me. That was the damn. <laughs> I recall Natsuki okay, proudly presenting her cat shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki okay, proud like that too. Yeah. Maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the acid before you measure it with any food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We're using the electric mix of a better so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh. The icing's still uh, all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the rest from me and uses her other hand to tilt the power back. You don't need to beat the crap out of it. <laughs> After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if they emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger into the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your crow's fingers in my icing. Yeah, icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the ball. Don't make me beat the crap out of you now. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push hard out just enough of my finger to reach the icing. I don't really scoop some of my finger just in the sugar tax with all her might. Ah! The force of the sugar pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in return. Crash! You got it in my face! Whose fault? Whose fault is that? There's a big club of icing on Asuka's cheek. <coughs> she tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez! You know what? Take this! Asuka instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my, my own face. What? You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Asuka tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Uh, okay. <laughs> Stay! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. This looks a little wrong. This picture looks a little... Okay. Fan fan! I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that all to me all the time, you know? Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You just shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's fingers put it in my mouth, <laughs> licking off the icing. Wait, what? Did you see it? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Natsuki is surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Sibi, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? Um, what kind of question is she asking me? Just like that. How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I Nasuki gazes at me in silence and with her shallow breath. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh. Out of nowhere the fire alarm starts going off. Nasuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder. You left a dirty train here, dummy. How did you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Nasuke uses uh, an oven mitt 
to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another movement, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah, the tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. But the moment has already been lost. I watched as Nasuka slice the cupcake trays. Cupcake, I can talk right now. Cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly, reluctantly <laughs> pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Eh, this Mr. Key. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm air fills the room. Look at that cute there, look. She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me not like you need to tell me that. I put decorating stuff, so I hope you can get, get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Nasuke hands me some eye plastic bags. I have those notches that would make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip tip than the others. This one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes and other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on the cake. Like happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literary theme by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Eh? Hmm. I was kinda expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea, so... Ha 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 ha! Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school, nobody's judging. You can't trust an idea like that and not expect me to think you're cute. We well, Nasuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? N n nothing. Let's just do the icing. Cute? Am I cute? Well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm gonna pick up the pace and fast the nozzle. I don't know how to pronounce that. If it, if it isn't pronounced nozzle, then I'm sorry. <laughs> so each of the bags. Noozle. Uh, there's a lot of work to do, so it shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing and then we each get to work. When we are finally finished, Natsuki puts them aside, so them all side by side, to admire our work. Look how pretty they are, Tsukiji. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Eh, I wish I could have known now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Haha, haha, see everything said opposite of that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, this is unhealthy. Besides, my dad, when my dad cakes, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Oh, already? That's a shame. Is your father working so slowly? You should have thought about that. It's not like you always have this chance. Man. As usual, Nasuke places to blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you if you say and uh, if you and Sayari each carry some, then you can probably do the run trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayari earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayari always does listen to me, but at that point it fe felt like she would couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed in. Great way today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Nasuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take that opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? 
what you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me that how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere... Um, do you really, really mean that? Mizuki looked at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Sebe, I thought you'd only care about getting this done. Eh, uh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would be really, I, I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Mitsuri suddenly gets closer to me. Oh my goodness! Don't do that to me, that's okay. Don't just scrub all in my face, damn it. Wait, Natsuki? Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch the side of my shirt as if holding onto me. Her rose colored cheeks and matching eyes will fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. Slightly parted lips? What is happening? <laughs> My head starts to go dizzy and I feel her soft breaths against me. I felt it for a while now. Eh! Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Si uh. Eh! Hi, Sabe! Uh, Sayari. Uh, just, just now we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Sabe. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, uh, well, y you should come a, a little earlier. <laughs> I'm already on my way out, Sammy. Ah, uh, really? That's, that's too bad. Yeah, well, uh, I, I, I'll just see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. <laughs> that was fast. Just, just out of here, okay. Clearly, Foster and Nasuki hurries off, and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori. I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well, well, I tried to stay staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki, and how close you got to her. It makes me feel really happy, <laughs> really happy, <laughs> that you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start fall to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Saiba? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is beating in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. So you don't say that. It's true, Saiba. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put me in... Where put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Eh? Sayori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this is the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes the entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. Perfect. Sherry looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Sherry. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sherry? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sherry? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did it just to myself. Sorry, boy. I love you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And then... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I set my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I always... How, how I said I would oh, eh, always know what was best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nuts. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need most right now. And that is what I'm going to give you. <sighs> this this was the hardest choice for me in the whole game. To be honest, first time I played through this. This this was the hardest choice. Like uh, 
I was going to make it my wife, but it feels like I'm taking advantage of it right now. Since he's uh, so sad. But by choosing this, it also makes him more sad. So I kind of want to choose this anyway. And this is also what I want. So this is like the best thing I could use. Right? Right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with I love you. I love you. Eh. Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Super! Suddenly Zero wraps her arms so tightly around me. Hey look, that's me! I'd like to see the face. <laughs> I can only see. Apparently I always wear back like, black clothes. It's nice. Cyber, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Cyber. I want to be with you forever. Me too. Yeah. I feel Sayori's creep around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? I don't want the rain clouds go away. They're not going away at all, shy boy. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. O okay. I trust you. Sherry and I slowly release each other. So, uh, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about your things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always been. If we were you really are a couple, I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's, re it's really new and scary to me. I understand. Well, go... Uh, Go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Cyber. Sierra gazes at me once more, smiling sadly. Even if I could really, really say it, this is the best thing for me, right? Yeah? I don't really understand what Sierra means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sierra? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and that she, and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I, d if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were? Is that what Sierra meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sherry is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Oh, and so is the day of the festival, huh? Should I... Um... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you want to see more of me, search for 8000, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, uh, no, next, next episode, uh, next video of Doki Doki Literature Club.